Hello, my name's Laura um, and I work for Treetops Hospice as a clinical facilitator. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, administer an um, anticipatory medication via subcut cannula. First of all, I'm going to wash my hands and put my apron on. I'm going to gain consent from my resident, making sure they understand why they're having this medication and I've got consent to do that. First of all, I need to make sure that I've got a written directive from the GP um, and that everything on this directive is correct. So it's the right uh, patient's name, uh, their date of birth, their NHS number, any allergies, and I need to make sure that each medication is signed um, and dated and the correct dose is um, prescribed. Regarding the dose, you can find this information on the Derbyshire Alliance End of Life Toolkit in the Symptom Management Guidance. So for this demonstration today, um, we've got Poppy Smith um, and she's needing some midazolam. So I can see on my directive that Poppy is prescribed midazolam, 2.5 milligrams um, as required. So now I'm happy with my directive. I'm going to um, gather all my equipment. So I'm going to book out my medication as per policy um, and record using my stock balance sheet. Uh, this is just an example of one here. So recording the date and time, the dose given, the amount we've wasted, batch numbers, expiry date and stock levels. So important things to remember about your stock balance sheet, it's good practice to have an individual sheet for each medication so you can see clearly what's been given when and you can clearly see a stock level so, you, so it prompts you to order more medication when needed. So I've got my medication out, I've got some water for injection as well, making sure that that's prescribed on my directive there, which it is at the bottom. I'm going to gather some small syringes and some filter needles because we're drawing out of a glass ampule. So my medication, I've got midazolam, 10 milligrams in 2 mil, and I want to give 2.5 milligrams. So I've checked my batch number and my expiry date and it's all in date. I'm going to open one of my smaller needles and pop a filter needle on the end. I'm going to open my medication, just making sure that all the medication is in the bottom. Pop over the vial. I'm going to work out how much I need. So I've got 10 milligrams in 2 mil. So I want 0.5 mil. I'm just going to draw that up slowly. Just getting rid of any air that's there. and making sure I've got the right amount of medication. Okay, I'm going to place that down, get rid of my needle, and that's my medication prepared. I'm going to keep my vial so that I can just check back later. I'm then going to prepare a flush, which is water for injection, uh, checking my batch number and expiry date, which is all okay, and it's prescribed. a second syringe and a clean filter needle and then I'm going to draw up some water in for, in for injection for a flush after administering the medication. Again, just getting rid of any air. Okay. Getting rid of that needle. And then just going to double check what I've got is right. So I've got midazolam, 2.5 milligrams, and I'm ready to administer that via my subcut cannula. To use the cannula, I'm going to screw off 
the end of the cannula and placing that to one side and then going to attach my syringe to the end of the cannula and then slowly inserting the medication, observing the site, making sure that it's in it infusing nice and smooth. And then I'm going to remove my syringe and pop on my next syringe for the flush. The dead space in the cannula is around 0.2 mil, so we want to make sure that we flush to make sure that the resident gets all the medication and none is left in the line. Okay, and then I'm going to place my cap over and that's the medication administered.